you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Oscar. Sharon. Nice to meet you. Same here. So you live around here? Not too far from here. Oh, okay. So do you often walk out on this road? Well, a couple of times a week. Oh, that's great. Right, right. You look good. Thank you. So what do you do for a living? Well, nothing, really. Nothing? Sorry, nothing. I just completed my NYC and I'm job hunting. Oh, job hunting. I see. Hmm. Okay, I um I work with uh Richmore group of companies here. Nice. And Good I'm for you. Yeah, I'm close to the MD. Okay. I can talk to him on your behalf. What did you study, please? Business administration. Oh, business admin. Oh, that's good. So I can talk to him on your behalf. Really? If that's okay. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Yeah, I can. Please, let, let me have your number so I can... Uh... Okay. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Sharon. Yeah. Yeah, Sharon. I remember. I'll just save it. So like I said, uh, I'm close to the MD. I can talk to him on your behalf. And whatever he says, I'll give you a call. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Nice morning. All right. Yeah. Today is a good day. What mm. happened? Ah. While I was jogging this morning. Hey, stop now. Mm. Mm. Well, as I was saying, mm -hmm. I was jogging this morning and I met this guy. His name is Oscar. He was also jogging. We got talking and he told me that he is the personal assistant to the MD slash CEO of Richmore Group of Companies Limited. Mom, that's the company that produces plastic. Ah. Richmore Group of Company. Mm -hmm. All those uh, all those of our plastics and buckets, uh, my cooler inside the store. They are they are their products. Mom. Huh? Hold on, let me just give you the good news. Okay. Now, the good news is Oscar promised to put in a word. <laughs> talk, talk. Okay, okay. He promised to put in a word and probably help me secure a job in that company. <laughs> Seriously? Mom, have I ever said anything less? I am serious. Like, I have a good feeling about it. Hey! My daughter, you know what? I know that God must surely answer my prayers. Amen. He will. 
and he will grant you your heart's desire. Now you are true. Job is there waiting for you. Amen. God must surely do it. Mom, I just oh believe that God orchestrated my meeting with Oscar today. Because come to think of it, why would our paths cross today of all days? I have been jogging every morning since I got back from service. Mm -hmm. And today feels blessed. I don't know. Everything is just... I'm excited, Mom. And I just pray that everything works. God is at work. Amen. God is at work. Amen. He must surely do it for you, my daughter. From your mouth straight to God's ears. Yes, now. <laughs> eh? I am I, 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 I am mama. I, I'm a daughter of God. Mm. Eh? The most high God. Uh -huh. <laughs> he must surely hear my prayer. Mom, please. I know. I feel thirsty. Let me just go take some water. Oh, so so water. <laughs> Mom, please stop. Biko. <laughs> Biko. Go, 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 go. I'm also uh, uh, in the new service. Uh, okay, I'm also so. uh, what I have is water. I uh, won't get water. No, I don't have money. Hey! <sighs> God. Rich more plastic group of company. God, you never fail. Do this for her. Let your will be done. Are you talking? Chief, you sent for me. Oh, yes, was good. Um, Get the manager to place an advert on newspapers, social media, wherever, uh, with respect to the vacant position of the company's administrator as soon as possible. Um, Chief, I think I have found the right person for that position. Um, she has a master's degree in business administration. Yeah. Really? Yes, sir. Who is she? Her name is Sharon. Sharon. How well do you know her? Um, I've known her for a while, sir. Uh, and you kept quiet all this while? I mean, you are aware that the, this position has been existing for the past one month. And you didn't say anything. Uh, my apologies, Chief. I, I only just remembered this morning. It was an oversight. It's all right. Um, okay, uh, place a call to her. Ask her to see me immediately. Oh, you mean I should call her to come over? Yeah, of course. Um, tell her to come and um, she should come with her CV and her application later. All right, I'll do that ASAP. Okay. Thank you. Sharon, right? My name is Oscar. Yeah. I'm okay. How about you? All right. Uh, I spoke to my boss about you and uh, he asked that you come around. I told you I was going to call you back, right? Uh, okay, so just come along with your CV. Hey, congratulations in advance. All right.
Sharon? Yes, Chief. Nothing short of excellence. Oscar was indeed right. Huh. Impressive. Thank you. Chief. This is amazing. You are a first class graduate of business administration? Yes, sir. Wow, impressive. Sharon, right? Yes. Well, um, your grade is great, but I'm sorry to tell you that we don't have need for someone like you. We don't need your services because um, there's nowhere to fix you. Edmond? Chief. It's not a place to decide that. Let me have the ceiling. Oh, sorry, Chief. I only asked you to look at it oh, sorry, so that you know that uh, we have a very competent person here. Um, Chief, I just wanted to tell the truth. Which is? Any, anyways. Good. Um, Sharon? Yes, Chief. Congratulations. I'm offering you the position of um, administrative officer in this company. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Chief. Yes. Thank you. Thank Do you. you have any problem with my decision? No, not at all, Chief. No. Good. Thank Sharon. you, Chief. Thank you. Sharon. Yes, Chief. This is uh, Edmond. The supervisor in the company um, is going to give you the necessary orientation you need and um, show you to your office. Thank you, Chief. I promise I'll, I'll give it my all. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity. Thank you. Sharon? Yes, please. Shall we? Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Thank you. Well, um, like I said in the briefing, um, this is rich more group of company. In this company, there are so many things we don't take, like ill chatting, irresponsible reasons for not coming to work, and other things like loitering around and playing with your job. Yes, 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 yes. You you said all of that during orientation, and it's duly noted, sir. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> wow, I'll be like it. Mm -hmm. uh, but please, can I? Yeah, sure, feel free. It's your office. Thank you. She has to dance to my tune, else I'll kick her out. I have kicked out numbers of persons from this office, and she's not going to be an exception. Oh my god. Yes, I like it. Thank you. Well, that'll be awful now. It's okay. Yes, 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 you did it, God. You did it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for this wonderful gift. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for putting a smile, restoring my peace, and keeping my faith. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Finally. <sighs> I 
as for Oscar, I can just wait to thank you. Like, this is wonderful. This is a good one. Thank you, Oscar. God bless you. Yes, come in. Hey. <laughs> Hi, look who's in charge of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you deserve a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you. God bless you. <sighs> you made all of this happen. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, what are you up to? Nothing much. I was just trying to familiarize myself with the office, right. then get up to date with the files. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Once again, congratulations, and uh, I'll you. let you do your work, okay? Oscar, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing God to use you to bless me. You're wow. godsend, thank you. You deserve the best. Thank you. All right, so take care. It's your, oh, sorry. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Is Mr. Edmund in any way related to the MD? Like, is he his son? In-law, relative, whatever. No, not at all. He's a staff just like every other person in this office. Why, why are you asking? Uh, nothing, really. I just wanted to know. Because he's always acting all oh, high and mighty, like... <laughs> oh, I think you should um, ignore him and focus on your work. Of course. Yeah, just like I said, he's just uh, he's a staff like every other person. All right. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. I'll leave you to get used to work. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. In a big way, in a big way, in a big way, in a big way, in a big way. This one you're dancing and singing in on two joy. What is it? Uh, how did it go? Mom, eh? I am so happy that I cannot contain my joy. Really? Uh, how did it go? Eh? You are killing me with anxiety already. Talk to me. <laughs> eh? Mom! Eh? <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> this girl, you will Mom. not kill me. Mom, eh? guess what? Uh -huh. You mm. are standing beside uh -huh. the new administrative officer of Richmond Group of Companies Limited. <laughs> Sharon! Yes! <laughs> anymore like thank you jesus thank you you mean that young man you met earlier today kept to his promise hmm. mom god works in mysterious ways you're he, right he, I, don't, I don't know yes he did he kept his word like i told you he's the pa to the md he's his right hand man mom like i just couldn't believe it like my dear, let me just confess to you. Do you know I almost stopped you from going to your usual morning workout? Do you know? Hi! Thank God I did not do it again. Thank you, Jesus. Mom, mom I, I don't know what else to do. I, I'm, I'm happy, Mom, but... <sighs> Why? Why did your mood suddenly change? Mom, I think I... I might have a problem in that office. No, go for it. Problem one. How? Eh? Huh? Go forbid. You will not have any problem. Amen. What do you mean by that? Uh Mom, well, let's mm. not just kill this joy. Nothing matters. You will not kill me. I am me. happy. Sharon, you, you will mean, not give me. You will not die. How? How? How?
<laughs> See, uh -huh. this calls for celebration. Okay. Uh -huh. Mom, uh -huh. what, what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? I'll uh, drink. Oh, you want to go to church and celebrate? Which one do you want? Uh, let me drink the water first. Breakfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. Today is your first day at work. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Great and me. Be a good girl. That's my sister. Be a good girl. Mom, I'm always a good girl. What's oh, that? I know that. Just Tell him to be a good boy, not me. No, he's, a big, he's a good boy. Mom, so I'm a bad girl. No, I didn't say so. Better. Let me go and shower. Go and shower. <laughs> Great and me. Congratulations. Great and me. I'm so happy. Look at the way she's smiling. <laughs> Something happened this morning and needs to be attended urgently. And if it's not properly addressed, this will lead to some sort of revolt. And more. Calm down, okay? Calm down, be safe. And more. I mean, what happened that um, you are looking so upset? Chief, this madness has to be addressed immediately. You still have not said anything. Chief, I came to the office this morning. I saw Sharon conducting morning devotion in the office. Oh, that. Uh, that one is actually a nice one. You like it? Chief, is this what you have to say? Chief, this is an office. This month. I don't see anything wrong with that. As a matter of fact, you are supposed to commend her for that. You are a supervisor in this company for years, and you never thought it wise to do such a thing. And now somebody else brought this wonderful initiative and you are revolting. Listen, henceforth, I am making money devotion mandatory in this company. Okay? Chief, the Sharon that started this devotion was just employed yesterday. And today she has started money devotion. Does it make sense? Sorry, Chief, I have to go back to money. I'm busy. Money. You see the madness you protect downstairs in the middle of praying. Listen, if you try to this office, I will ensure that you'll be fired. I'm not bluffing about this. Look at what I haven't seen. I don't get that. That's serious about this. Mr. Edmund, 
I don't get this one bit. What's going on? Oh, you're beginning to pretend as if you don't know what you're talking about. I am talking about. Where are you going to talk about this office? I don't really like it. I said so. Stop it! Mr. Edmund, I don't see anything wrong in what I did. I only conducted morning devotion, which is supposed to be done in every office, every single day. Why this is it not sitting well with you? This is an office, not a prayer crowd. If you want to do that, take it to your house. This is an office, we don't do it here. I said so. Well, Mr. Edmund, if you think that I have derailed from the laid down rules and regulations of this office, then you should complain to the MD. Okay? He is the only one who has every right to tell me to stop, not the other way around. Mm. I see. You have guns. What's the meaning of this nonsense? He's not done raving and now he's back. What is it? Come in! The MD wants you. Of course, I'll, I'll be I'll be there shortly. Right now. Of course, I'll be right there. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your name reigns in all of the earth. Yes, 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 yes. We did it. You alone did it. Because my Bible tells me the name of the Lord is a true tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. They are safe and they are protected in your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am super excited and happy. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Amen. This is a good start. Apparently, we are preachers of the gospel and we preach Jesus everywhere we go. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Wow. What kind of human being is that? I have no idea. You have to be careful with him. Mom. mom, you needed to have seen his bloody red eyes when he walked in on us singing praises and worship. His eyes were pure red. Hmm. Hmm. That man must be a demon. Hmm. Mom, he threatened me. Yes, he threatened me that he was going to deal with me if I don't stop that nonsense I call morning devotion, according to him. You would have challenged him. Of course, Mom. Don't you trust your daughter? I did. I stood my ground. And I emphatically told him that only the MD has a right to tell me what to do and what not to do in that office. Good. Yes. And what did he say? Uh, hmm. Well, as usual, he started raving, insults, said a whole lot of things, and finally, he dashed out like a raving madman that he is. I don't care. My daughter, you have an assignment in that office. Yes, something tells me that there is something fishy about that Mr. Edmund. Yes. You think so? I know so. So 
something is fishy about him. Whatever, but I sincerely do not care about him. That's his business. Sweet. Mm. Something happened today at the company that uh, I've not witnessed that in the history of rich more group of companies. Mm. Good or bad? Good, good. Um, I was told that um, this young girl that was recruited yesterday mm -hmm. conducted a prayer session with all the staff. Hmm. Hmm. Is that right? Yes. But something funny happened. This supervisor, Edmund, I was told, went to the venue of the prayer session and disrupted it. What? Why should they do a thing like that? You ask me. And the funny thing is that he had the impetus to come to my office, ranting, uh -uh. threatening fire and brightstone, right in my presence. Edmund. Yeah. I thought he's a Christian. Ah, so I thought. So what beats me is why a Christian is now opposed to prayers. Then he needs to be checked. Honestly, this is unbelievable. And you know, recently he's been carrying himself as if he's the owner of the company. Well, um, I admonished um, Sharon to continue with the good words. Yes. 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 Prayers, very important. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And then um, one of these days I will stop over to see Sharon. Oh, that will be fine. Yeah. Um, from what I saw with this girl, I mean, given that um, she started work just yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be a very dedicated and uh, devoted worker. Okay. Yeah, that's what I see. Okay. Watch and see. Yeah. Edmund. <laughs> so that let's leave the office matters. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Tell me. What's happening at the home front? Oh, everything, whatever you want. I trust you. Whatever you want. <laughs> Badge into my office like that. What's going on with you? What's that look in your eye? I can't move you out of this office. I don't understand. What are you talking about? What don't you understand? Listen, you don't belong here. You're living this office is made or I'm forced to do it myself. Mr. Edmund, you better put that down before you hurt someone. I call this shot here. I decide what you're going to do with this. Come leave or not. Are you going to leave? Mr. Edmund, get out of my office! What is wrong with you? Get out! Get out! Leave! Out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Is it? Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. What is it? No. It's a bad dream. Bad dream? Horrible one. What happened? What did you see? Mr. Edmund. Edmund. Your supervisor. I always knew there was something off about that man. What did he do? I, I saw Mr. Edmond with a knife. A knife? Yes, he was advancing towards me. 
and he wanted to stab me. God forbid. Chineke, Baba Jesus, the way I am. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. He cannot do anything to you. He cannot hurt you. He is not your God. Mom, he almost killed me. If not that I had started running for my life. He was... He did see the mean look in his eyes. Like he transformed into something else. He... He told me he's in charge. And that I won't come from nowhere to spoil things for him. Ashashi. Eh? Because I'm going to report him to my God. The kind of fire he will receive. He will not stand it. Holy Ghost fire destroy him. Holy Ghost fire in us. In fact, he cannot do anything to my own child. Huh? I noticed you when you started walking here. I mean, you're so beautiful. I must say this is one of the most beautiful one I've ever known. Like, you've got the beauty, the right cause in the right places. Mr. Edmund. Oish, well, let me ask you this first. How would you feel, or how do you see the both of us as couples? Please, move over and sit. Thank you. Are you pushing me away? Can you stop this at once? What has come over you? Yo. Yo is that thing that has come over me. Like I want you so deep. Can you see that for yourself? Stop acting holier than that. Listen. I've seen women like you in the past. You know, women who want something and they want to pretend over that. You know. But then, let's be realistic. This stuff down there doesn't have me to tell how many persons have this. I beg your pardon, Mr. Edmund. What sort of vile words said this? Listen. For you to continue to work in this office, you must, I repeat myself, you must sleep with me. <laughs> like, seriously? I am sure of it. You can laugh for all I care. But I would like to let you know that it's a done deal already. <laughs> Mr. Edmund. <laughs> you really amuse me. So you mean I, Sharon, should sleep with you? Not on your life. Well, I'll be pleased to let you know that that is the only way you can continue to work in this office. Really, Mr. Edmund? The last time I checked, sexual relationship is not a do or die affair. You cannot force or bully me into sleeping with you. I am not bullying you, Miss Sharon. I am only letting you know what is obtainable in this office. If you must continue to work in this office, you must have an affair with me. Nothing changes that. I would rather die than do it with you. Then I will have to force it down your truth, or you will be waiting for what is to come thereafter. Is that supposed to be a trick, Mr. Edmund? Then I'm shaking in my boots. I'm, I'm sure you don't know who you're talking with, do you? I can see you've got some guts. Mr. Edmund, if you have been doing this with other ladies, you cannot do it with me. You won't dare. <laughs> You're really bold. You've really got some guts, indeed. You know what I'm saying? Get out of my office. Get out. Beautiful soul. 
You have to do this with me. You know what? I've had enough. Get out. No, you're twin. Get out. Get out, Mr. Edmund. Get out. So, I called you here to give you this. And what's this? Uh, that's my first salary. Just to say thank you, it's all. This for my hat, don't get it wrong. I just want to say no, thank you. That, that's enough, alright? That's yours. You keep it. Alright? I have to get back to work. Oscar! Are you coping, you know, with the job as your dad's PA? <laughs> um, quite challenging, mm. but I'm learning really fast. Mm. Yeah. That's good. I know most of them don't know you are the MD's son. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't, don't know. We've been very discreet about it. Yeah. You know, to some. Chief Richard is childless. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That's what you think. How? Why? Yes, as uh, human beings for you. Mm -hmm. you know. um, mm -hmm. Oscar left this country pretty early. Yeah. And since they've not been seeing me with any child, they mm -hmm. thought I, I'm childless. Yeah. Do I really care? Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder why people should concern themselves with other people's affair that doesn't concern them. Right. I mean, I can't figure it out. Um, Mom, something happened. Something very interesting happened. What happened? So the new administrator gave me her one month salary. Hmm? What? Yeah. For you to keep or for you to have? She just asked me to take it. Why would she do that? I have no idea. But she said um, she was only trying to appreciate me for my kindness. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, come on. I mean, that is not enough reason for her to relinquish full I, months I am I mean, totally confused. Hope you didn't take it though. Come on, mom. No, I did, <laughs> I did not. Of course, I didn't. I don't um, understand. I didn't, I didn't. I mean, I'm supposed to be the the PA to the MD. Mm -hmm. I should be the one giving her money, not mm -hmm. the other way around. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's so no, I, didn't, I didn't take it from her. I just said thanks, but no thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's a nice girl, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. I haven't met her, though. Yeah, mom, she's really humble. Mm -hmm. She's quite cool. And hard work. Yeah, she's very brilliant. Mm -hmm. Very brilliant. She looks like a church girl, though. One month salary. One month. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's just been grateful, you know? Yeah. 
어때요? Saying is that that girl has not worked with us for too long for you to be talking about promoting her. Edmund, what are you talking about? That she has not worked for too long? We are talking about three years here. Yes, I know, three years, Chief. But if you're looking at those to be promoted, Chief, there are too many people in this company that can be promoted. The security man has been here for seven years, the cleaner woman has worked with us for six good years. The coordinator ahead, he has been here as old as this company is. Chief, those are the people who need the promotion and not this one who laces around praying everywhere. Edmund, as far as I'm concerned, Sharon is the best performer 
in this company. Her performance is top notch. She deserves a promotion. Chief, I, I don't want you to get me wrong, but I don't think she deserves this promotion. This girl is a lazy person. What does she do in this company that some other person doesn't do? All she does is to pray from here and there. I don't even know she's planning to turn this place into some kind of prayer hub or prayer mountain. That is the more reason she deserves this promotion. I mean, her prayers have completely transformed this company. Right now, customers are making panegyric statements about her performance already, all because of her. It's not just about the customers, Chief. Because the way you're sounding, you're also singing the panegyric praises about the girl. The girl does not do anything special in this company. All she does is just to pray everywhere. I mean, the prayer doesn't work. Chief, please reconsider your stand on this promotion. She does not deserve this promotion. I can write names of people that, you can, that can be promoted. I mean, you can go through them and then you can validate and check on them. Sharon is a wonderful administrator. She's very, very good. And I'm telling you without missing words, she deserves a promotion. added value to our company and um, we're very proud of you. But it's quite unfortunate that someone has been taking your glory. I don't understand. Your hard work has been undercover. I still do not understand. Someone in this company has been projecting himself to the MD as someone who does all the work and not you. I can, I can hear a male in between. Like, are you saying it's a he? The person in question wants you out of this office by all means. He's been saying all kinds of terrible things about you. What? As a matter of fact, he's been sitting on your promotion for years. I knew it. Ever since I came into this office, I don't know what I did to anyone. They've been trying to just get me out of here. What have I done? Well, I don't think it's going to be easy because you're way different from others. He can't treat you like he's treated others. It's going to be very hard for him and that's why he's trying to make it very difficult for you here. So I'll suggest you Ignore all his unprofessionalism and uh, focus on your work. I want to assure you that Mr. Edmund will be exposed very soon. Here. <laughs> My beautiful, wonderful damsel. Hmm. You're welcome home. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, son. You're welcome. Hi. How, how are was you? work today? Work was good. Darling. You okay? You're welcome. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. Why are you all excited? Haven't you seen mom before? Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby. Oh, my bad. Tell him. Baby. Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> Please leave my husband it's for right. me. <laughs> mom, I'll quickly freshen up and... Uh, yes, go ahead. Go ahead, darling. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
let me chat with my wife for a while. So how are you? I'm good. Good. Darling. Yes. Oscar is fast growing into a great son. A very loyal and obedient son. What do you expect? Huh? Mm. He's my son. Mm. A lion begets <laughs> a lion. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Uh, I'm proud of the seed of my womb. You see, Oscar is a very, very wonderful son. And uh, he will soon take over from me because uh, I'm planning to retire very soon. Yeah, sure. I'm very sure he will do just well. Well, from what I see, you are spot on. <laughs> <laughs> you are not far from the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. You know what? Yeah. You go freshen up. Mm. Let me go to the kitchen and fix dinner. Mm. I made your favorite. I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. So. Yeah. Make sure you call me as soon as you Oh, I shall sure do. Right. I shall sure do. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I knew I, what I, that was I, I told you. <laughs> and of course, you know, this is not the family thing. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Saliva is already pouring when I've not tasted it. Are you enjoying the food already? Just let me test it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 Nice. <laughs> Delicious. <clears throat> Thank you, love. Mm. You know what? Mm -hmm. I love this food. It is um, sumptuously delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgotten that your wife is the best chef around? Are you telling me? <laughs> it might interest you to know that um, this is one of the main reasons mm -hmm. why I am uh, looking younger. Oh, yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. Looking fresh, mm -hmm. right? Fresher, mm -hmm. and freshest. I'll be eating your food, <laughs> youngest old man. <laughs> Look at this one. Right. <laughs> she knows I'm a young man. I'm oh, my God. Man. <laughs> you know, Oscar. Mom. As a matter of fact, your father was the most handsome man that came when people were coming to seek my hand in marriage. Mm. Wow. Really? I mean, yes, I have to Sudos book up for that. Were, Sudos were filing in. Okay. As soon as he came in, I said to myself, this is him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But, but mom, what, what did he do? What, what did he do to win you over? Me? No, no, I don't have to discuss that. <laughs> Look at this boy. You want me to tell you what your father did to win? Oh, oh, wow. Come on, there's nothing wrong with that, Dad. Mm -hmm. No, I know my father is a caring man, so... No, he is. Oh, he is. He's going to take good care of you. He is. Oh, I am blushing. Oh, <laughs> I am blushing. Oh, true, true. <laughs> Andrea, you know, ever since then, I've not had any reason to regret the decision I took then. Oh. <laughs> but I'm impressed that. Thank you. I'm truly impressed. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Love is beautiful. Don't worry. Soon you will find her. Thank you. Then you will understand why I said what I said. Right. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. eh? Yeah. Leave my son alone. Right. I don't want you then. Mm. Okay? She's just being a caring okay. mom, Dad. Come on. Oh, okay. That day will come. I give up. Definitely. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> so, my dear. Mama. How is work going on generally? Uh, uh, work is going well. I mean, we just have a few challenges here and there, but we are equal to the task. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad told me you're doing pretty good. Well, we yeah, are trying. I, I mean, I don't have a choice. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's a, that. <laughs> You don't really. <laughs> Dad, you're really enjoying the meal. I said that you're again. You're not even talking to anyone. <laughs> Why did I talk? Why did I talk? Right. <laughs> you know, this fresh. Oh, 
Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, are you done with the orientation for the new employees? Of course. We Hi. just finished. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> so tell me, how did it go? Everything went well. They're quite bright, so I'm sure they'll pick up in no time. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Have a nice day, Mr. Ed. All right, you too. Try, Mr. Tobu, let's remove her. That is so what you call yourself as an excuse to sleep around, shy with everything in ghetto. Ah, Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. You are a turbulence giver and not, not a turbulence remover. Hi, Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. A deceiver. Soon your game will be over and you will. Be Dear God, my guardian angel, creator of heavens and earth, please heal Mr. Richard. Healing of this disease once and for all. Your word says that you will not have the devil. You will not allow him to have the last laugh. But I do not let the devil win concerning Mr. Richards. Save him, O oh God. Heal him from his blood to his veins to every fiber of his being. Let your word saturate him and make him whole. In Jesus' name, amen. She is a just woman Her heart's a pure and true She lives a life of honesty And always follows through She's always true to herself I'd like to see you in my office immediately. Okay, I'll just shut down my laptop and join you. That's fine. I shall be waiting. Right behind you. Did he enter my office just to stare at me? Edmund, Chief, I hope you remember everything we discussed. I do, Chief. Good. Um. I'll be traveling for a month on medical vacation and I expect you and your team to manage this company properly before I return, okay? Um, Chief, there's no cause for alarm. I can comfortably tell you that both staffs and everyone from this company is well behaved. And you know the standards of this company are very high. High level of discipline. Mm -hmm. Everybody must conduct him or herself properly. All right? Sure, Chief. I also will be addressing the staff tomorrow. Okay? So do well to inform them about the meeting. Sure, I will, sir. Good. If you don't mind, sir, can I go back to my office? It's all right. Thank you, sir. Oscar? Chief. Sorry, sorry to bother you. Um, Anything? Can I pray with you? I, I was led in my spirit to pray for you. Pray for me? Yes, Chief. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Where I came from, we don't we don't care. So go ahead. Can I hold your hand? Oscar? Chief. For this one. Oh, that's fine. Uh, well, Oscar. Chief. You mind joining us in the prayers? Uh, Chief, uh, that's fine. You, you can go ahead, sir. I'll just wait for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 